Alrighty, so as you guys know, I play a lot of franchise, and I've always been like that. Like, every single sports game that I get, I want to play the career mode, the franchise, whatever it is, because that's just who I am. I like that. I like the, the challenge of creating new teams, drafting prospects, you know, building through prospects, whatever it is. I just like franchise mode and career modes. I always put in a crazy amount of hours into them. So when I sit here just a couple months after the release of MLB The Show 19, and I would rather smash my head up against the wall than play franchise mode, I feel like that's a bit of an issue. And I know I'm not the only one who thinks this year's franchise mode is bad, that thinks it's stale, that thinks it's boring, and I feel like SDS really needs to realize that changes need to be made. Something needs to change, and we need to make franchise mode more enticing to players, more exciting, more interesting, and I feel like that's why today I'm making this video for 10 wish list features for MLB The Show 20's franchise mode or 10 wants or needs or 10 features I want to see in MLB The Show 20 for franchise mode. So if you guys would like to see more videos like this or you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And in the comment section, I want you guys to continue to tell me some features, some wants you guys want to see in future franchise modes. Also, let's kind of bring this issue to light. You know, retweet the video, share the video, tell your mom, tell your best friend. Like, I, I really want STS to kind of see that, like, we want franchise mode to be fun and exciting and some changes need to be made. So first, let's talk about this year's franchise mode, because there were a couple good things that they added. And then there were a couple bad things that they added. So let's 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 talk about the good things, because there were a couple good ones that I, I did like. So the first one that I did enjoy was the in-game con or the in-season contract extensions i think that was a really good idea um you know a lot of times you lose a key player to free agency they don't sign a contract so this way within the season you know you're able to lock up that player to a long-term deal a short-term deal whatever it is you can get that con that, that that deal done rather than wait till the end of the season so i think that was a cool it's a small feature but it, it goes a long way right and then in-game uh, contracts that were realistic, real-life contracts. Again, it's a small thing, but it goes a long way. It adds to the realism of the game mode. So two features that I did enjoy. Two. Eh. So let's talk about the things that were a little disappointing. So they talked about Mar March to October being this new mode that was going to be amazing. It was a great way to like streamline franchise mode. First off, one season takes 10 plus hours. That's not streamlining anything. I get it. You play the key moments. You can do that in franchise mode already. You can play critical situations. You can turn that setting on. So you basically just gave franchise mode another name and gave us something we already had. You just gave it a different name. So March to October was just franchise mode with critical situations turned on. The trade offers that they give you in March to October they're basically the same within all teams so you're getting recycled content in the same mode so march to october i think was a huge bust and i feel like if they put that time and the energy that they spent on march to october and just focus it on the normal franchise mode we wouldn't be here today so march to october a little bit of a bust plus the rewards for march to october they're for diamond dynasty i get it it's a business strategy you want people to play the game mode that makes you money i understand that but it's franchise mode it's like the OG game mode. How can you just give up on that? So March to October, not a big fan of it. Second, I feel like the next couple things were just like icing to kind of cover up some stuff to like cover up the fact that this franchise mode is literally the same as previous installments of the game. And I'm talking about the graphics packages, the cinematics, Heidi in the dugout giving you you know, pre-game talks, post-game talks, in-game talks, whatever it was, you know, it's, it looks cool for the first like month you're playing the game. And then after that, you're skipping it. And I mean, after like a week, I was skipping all that stuff. The pre-pitch camera cinematics, I was skipping that stuff too. It's, it looks cool at the, at first you're like, okay, this is kind of cool. But again, it looks like it's just some like fluff, some sprinkles, some icing to cover up the fact that franchise mode is basically unchanged again disappointing so now let's hop into the stuff that i want to see for future installments of franchise mode Alrighty, so we'll start with kind of the smaller things that you know they're just kind of 
just just smaller things that I would like to see changed or added to franchise mode. And one of the first things that I want to talk about is the morale system. And we'll talk about that right now. So when we talk about morale, it's it's all right. You know, they have the expect the expectations and then they have the current the, the current status, the current status and then how they're feeling. And I feel like they could do something like, OK, this player is upset. They come to you and they ask for a trade. They request a trade. They demand a trade. Something small like that. Or a player's really happy on the team. They enjoy their role, you know, their contract, their coaching. And maybe they're like, hey, would you consider extending our contract here? You know, stuff like that. It's a small thing, but small interactions between coaches and players based on morale or even just getting notifications about how a player is feeling based on his morale oh, this player is really happy with how much playing time he's getting, or this player is very upset. There may be some issues. He may demand the trade soon. So small things with morale, I think could go a long way just to add some more realism to the game. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is kind of like a, a history book, an achievement log, something for players and also the the club because i know there are like the basics but it'd be kind of cool to see accolades for players and things like that so let's take a look quickly at the statistics for one player so we're looking here at ryan o'hearn i know not a player that has any accolades in his life or anything like that but all you see are his statistics and you get you know you get the standard statistics you get the advanced statistics like that but you don't have any how many all-star games he had did he win mvps batting titles or anything like that so there's no way to tell you know any accolades or achievements that he's won maybe a gold glove or a silver slugger so something like that would be kind of cool just to kind of keep up to date with players achievements and things like that also when we look at club achievements or team achievements you get this which i think is okay but you know it'd be kind of cool to see just a little bit more details and things like that and just just kind of have like a, a history log you kind of look back at different awards that players won um, when you look at every season's awards, you get the past three years. Give us give us the whole log. Be able to see who's won for past years. I think that it's a small thing, but again, it adds to the realism. It allows us to kind of keep up with achievements and player stats and things like that. Okay, this one, this is when it starts to get, it starts to get big because this is one of my biggest issues in franchise mode and that's the budget system it drives me nuts it it really doesn't make a lot of sense there's no real way to tell how much revenue you're making or how much revenue this or that or anything it's just it makes no sense well let's like let's look at it because i get i see my cash flow i see my expenditures i see my revenue it it doesn't give me a real understanding of what's going on i get my cash flow i have just about a million to spend but you know how am i making revenue how am i able to increase that money i can spend do i is the only way i can do that by getting rid of players with high contracts and picking up lower contracts i feel like that's a little bit of a letdown i just need a better understanding a better budget system something that just makes a little bit more sense it just it's it i just feel like it's it's a guess for most players i have so many players in comment section so many viewers that say i don't understand the budget system i don't understand how i can sign one player to this contract and then i can't afford the rest of this contract i need a better budget system even for just the casual players who don't understand it Alrighty, so let's talk about another thing. This one I want to talk about international free agents. So not only would you have the draft that you have to worry about scouting players, but also international free agents. So every year, a group of randomly generated prospects happen. So you got the draft prospects and then you got international prospects that you could go and scout. And then you have like an allocated amount of money. Obviously, that would work with a new budget system that you can have to spend on international free agents you know you could trade for international money that could be another possibility for future changes we'll talk about that a little bit later but you know just having that pool of international money where you could spend on an international free agent you go and scout that player and then you offer them a contract and they either accept it or they sign with a different team it's another aspect of realism i think it's something that it's literally just 
randomly generating another group of players i think it'd be really cool and a lot of fun to add that to the game all right so let's talk about draft classes or the ability to import draft classes or edit draft classes i know frisk made a series where he had his viewers be prospects and then he made his own baseball league based on you know the viewers and i think that was a really cool idea but he had to wait until the end of the season to edit every single prospect that got drafted why not have the ability to just edit it from day one why not have the ability to import real life prospects for those that want to you know games like madden 2k already do that it's such a small feature that for those who want realism and want to bring in real life prospects can do that people who wanted to bring in adley rutschman bobby witt jr could import a class like that people who want to make a custom one for maybe their viewers or with their friends can make a custom you know draft class put it in the vault and then they can compare how you know oh my buddy hit 40 home runs will mine hit 50 you know it just adds for more enjoyment in the game Alrighty, so the next thing i want to talk about is the trade system it already seems like the trade system is so easy to just completely swindle teams you can just add one prospect and then trade for the best player on their team or you can trade for you know one of your trash cans and get one of the best players on another team the trade system in this game is very flawed another thing that would be really cool to add that would just be so simple is make the trade block work i always have players sitting on the trade block and i never get any offers for those players i feel like i should be able to put a player on the trade block a player that you know has a potential and is 80 overall i should definitely get some offers for that and i never do i feel like the block is broken it doesn't work something so simple doesn't work in your game mode come on another thing let's do the ability to shop a player say we're approaching the deadline i haven't put this player on the trade block but i want to be able to be like boom anybody want him oh give me some offers back in a couple days rather than just the normal recommended trade that's already in the game i feel like shopping a player and then getting some like offers from teams back a couple days later would be kind of cool as well another thing trade for cash trade for a player to be named later uh trade for international money small things like that could go a long way if we could get those international free agents and we could trade for international pool money that'd be kind of cool say we want to make a deal with the team now but they you know we want to get a player later that'd be kind of cool as well obviously the mechanics of that is a little difficult i understand that but small things can go a long way so again let's try to improve the trade system Alrighty, now we're getting down to the last four and these are kind of big ones this one is scouting or like a fog of war mode so let's talk about fog of war nhl did this where you don't it, it, it makes the game mode difficult you don't know the attributes of every single player you don't know all the attributes of every single player you have to go out and scout those players it makes the game mode difficult and it makes it more enjoyable i think i like the idea that i you know i want to look at a player like hunter renfro i know he's got power but i don't know his vision i don't know his fielding ability i don't know his contact numbers i want to have to scout that player to kind of get a, a range of where he is ability wise and it takes more than one scouting trip to actually figure out how you know what those ranges are going to be so it makes scouting you know important it makes having good scouts important and it makes the game mode a little bit more difficult all righty number three is the progression or the development of a player and then the regression slash fall of a player the system is just it's it just seems so random and i understand that's how life is some players progress very quickly some fall very quickly but it feels like every time a player hits 30 years old or 29 years old they just tank in overall and it just doesn't make sense to me i don't understand why that's the case in franchise mode some players a lot of players in mlb they peak when they hit 30 they peak when they hit 32 and they have some of the best years of their career how come every single time you're looking at players who hit 30 31 and they tank in overall we need some fix to that and i think a way to do that would be development traits i think rather than just having potential here's 99 potential oh well, let's have a trait a superstar trait like they do in madden let's have a quick development trait or a, a slow development trait 
so yeah you have a slow development rate so he, maybe he starts at a 70 and he just slowly works his way up so maybe he peaks a little bit later or he has a quick development trait so from day one he's just boosting up and overall just some better system for regression and the fall of players and the progression and the the development of players something needs to change because right now it's just it's just not working last two and this one i know a lot of people want i know people want it in offline modes and they want it on diamond dynasty as well and i understand how diamond dynasty it would cause server issues and it just wouldn't make much sense and that's stadium creation or stadium editor and i get why online people would make cheesy stadiums and things like that but for offline let's take a look back at like mvp baseball where they had preset options where you could upgrade your lighting upgrade your stadium seating concession stands merchandise all that stuff where you could just upgrade things you can make more money you could spend money oh that kind of ties into a budget system make make money spend money you understand where you're gaining and losing money but you know it just adds to the fact that it makes the game mode a little bit more enjoyable you get some customization into the game you get to create a stadium you get to edit a stadium maybe you want to mess with fenway's green monster you want to mess with the ivy at wrigley field you want to you know things like that yes it kind of seems sacrilegious but just to get that kind of customization that'd be kind of cool or kind of the segue into point number one you get to create a stadium for an expansion team so let's talk about expansion teams there are already game modes that allow that or relocation teams madden 2k my league and we'll talk about 2k my league first because that's like the most in-depth customization or expansion that you can get you get to create the jerseys you get to create the court you have an expansion draft that's like the most in-depth current game mode out there that allows for expansion and relocation teams i think that would be the ideal situation but in one year i definitely think that's a big and tall like ask so let's take a step back and let's look at what madden does where they do an ex like a relocation expansion team but they have preset options you know they have like the london black knights they have teams in columbus memphis whatever it is las vegas so they give you preset options and preset jersey customization or preset jerseys to choose from even that could be something that is so small but people want it it's such a small thing hey bring back the expos bring back the senators bring back this team or even give us like new little teams that we could pick from in las vegas in memphis things like that creation of a team or expansion teams relocation teams whatever you want to call it I know it's a tall ask, but it just, it's, it's, I think the number one thing people want in franchise mode. Alrighty guys. So that's going to wrap up my 10 features that I would like to see in next year's MLB, the show for franchise mode. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think they should add next year. I know it's early. I know it's only a couple months post this year's release, but maybe if we're, you know, we bring up the issue early enough, maybe we could get some of these features added next year. So we'll see again let's let's share the video let's see if we can get sds to realize that franchise mode is it's boring it's stale we need something to change to make it exciting again um you know it it's really tough as a content creator to every single day try to pump out content on a game that's just not enjoyable to play so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content we're approaching 15,000 subs it would be awesome to hit that mark by the end of the month other than that guys leave a comment and i'll catch you all in the next video peace